Okay guys, so let's get started. Um, uh, here we go. Uh, can you hear me? Nice and clear. I'm just waiting for your confirmation if it's okay, if the sound is okay. No, perhaps. Okay, thanks. So um, today I would, I would like to tackle one question that is a little bit that I have been asked quite often: uh, Why I don't trade on Bitmax? Okay. Uh, Bitmax one of our one of our uh, one of our recent uh, one of the one of our most famous uh, exchanges out there that has been growing in popularity at least in the past uh, in the past uh, few months. I don't train on Bitmax, okay? For one reason, they have a, a okay. For two reasons, one it's a psychological reason. When you when you trade on Bitmax, you don't see. Um, I'm gonna put the the index here, XBT, Bitmax. Okay, my first reason why I don't trade on Bitmax, it's because when you are trading there, you don't you don't you don't see the amount of dollars that you are either losing or making you don't see the amount of dollars you see an, a, a token a, a 0 0 0.01 you see a relative value that you don't correlate with the amount of dollars directly and speaking from a behavior econom economical perspective this is not a good practice because you like you when you are not seeing the amount of money that you are losing because remember we are we humans we are uh, way we, we are gonna resent way more our lost than our gains twice as much when you lose like $100 you're gonna resent it a lot but when you gain $100 you're not that happy if you compare the two scenarios okay uh, and in, th that's one. That's one of my reasons. Okay, this is uh, this is a, th this is something really important for me to take the psychology into consideration when we trade. Okay, we are not uh, we are not rational computers trading. We are humans. We we are emotional. We are we tend to go on and and follow the hype. We tend to go on and say, hey. Um, this is really going up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna invest more. I'm gonna put more money on this trade. Okay, and Bitmax, you have this option. I'm gonna log in here. Just wait a second. Uh, I don't have money here, and I have plenty of loss in my, in my 
BitMEX account, and, I, and I'm, not, I'm not ashamed of saying it, okay? I'm not ashamed of saying that I have, uh, I have lost money here. I'm not ashamed. But I know, I understand why I have, okay? Uh, I understand why I have, I have uh, lost money here, and it's and, and, and I'm gonna say here I have zero money here. Yeah? I used to have some money, I made some money, and then I took it out of here. I took the money out of this exchange because I don't really like the way that they they offer the service. Okay, so uh, picking one, picking up from the psychology the psychology aspect that I was talking about so one more thing that I would add to this thing is that we have this leverage that is so high 100% okay uh, what's the problem okay Bruno okay Akumalo it's not a problem that we have um, 100 leverage if you are really sure that you're tr that you are gonna make money it's a great thing that you have 100 leverage, but are we sure that we are going to make money? Are we really sure? We are not sure. We are being manipulated most of the time here. Okay? We They have a, a specific index just for them. XPT. They don't have a BTC index. They, 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 don't, they follow the BTC index. They follow, in this case, the BTC the bitmax the bitmax index is a particular one they created it uh, on top of B btc index the bitcoin index which i don't really like okay um, that's one uh, one caveat that that, that 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 that's one problem for me okay uh, so again when when we are trading and you say i'm going to i'm going to um, Refrain myself to just trade on the 10x 10% leverage here. I'm not gonna enter. I'm not gonna leverage it more. But then it's gonna it's gonna have a time. Will will come. Um, it's gonna be a time when you are really confident, and then you are gonna add more to your position and add more to your position, and then you are gonna start trading. This is you're gonna start trading 50x, 100x. I have talked to a lot of traders, and they have, and they all have lost money. Not only a bit max, okay? This is a real, this is a reality of trading. You're gonna lose money, but the problem when we have 100 leverage is that is really tempting. They have a calculator here. And you calculate it and say, come on, I, I can invest just so little and make a lot of money. It, 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 it does sound like a, a bet, a, a, like gamble. It's not like a, we are trading, right? It's not so rational. And when they say, they advise us, don't trade on the 100 leverage. They, they all say that. Don't trade on the 100 leverage. Uh, we know that our rational being know that but when we are trading we are in an emotional state most of the time right you see the, the you see the the numbers here in the order book going down like you see a lot of red and then you oh my god i have this feeling that the the chart is the, the i have the chart here oh, i'm pretty sure that this is going down i have here the 30 minutes and then seriously those weeks here oh i'm gonna I'm gonna draw a trend line here, and then I'm pretty sure that this is going down. I'm pretty sure. I think mean, you are really confident. But then you see those weeks here. Those weeks are liquid. Those those weeks here are liquidation weeks. I will call it liquidation week weeks. They are quite. They are quite more elongated. They are quite more. Um, elongated than when we when we see the Bitcoin chart on Bitfinex. I'm gonna show it here. Let me see a, a, a clear chart. Let me open another chart here. 
mm, yes mm, this is the bit bit max index let put here the bit phoenix i'm not advocating that you should trade on bit phoenix i'm sorry let me see bit phoenix um uh, no, short slope um, long bit point bit phoenix here okay let's compare okay if you if you take a look okay you're gonna see that yes indeed the the the, the weeks are pretty long compared to the the weeks that we have here right so um they are trying to to liquidate people here on bitmax and they have the index it's not uh, in this case i think in this moment now they are pretty much at the same price but a lot of time they are in different prices okay sometimes the xbt is higher and sometimes it is lower than the btc price the btc the 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 the, the, the on bit phoenix for example okay and a lot of time they are going they are going to pump here on bit on bitmax they're going to pump it here and then you're going to enter a, a position here thinking that you are that's that you are going to catch the 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 pump and then they're going to dump right on you they're going to dump really hard and then you're going to have this and if you are playing like 100 you're going to be liquidated it's impossible yes yeah, so that, that, that's how it works oh that but then they they will call you stupid oh you shouldn't be trading on on um, on 100 leverage if you're not sure but are we sure most of the time even if you if, even if you are a warren buffett you are not sure all the time you may sound that you are sure you may sound that you are perfectly fine that you are hitting now the targets but are you that that's statistically not probable right uh i have i have read papers talking about the the percentage of uh of 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 the the percent the percentage of um the percent the percentage percentage of errors um of of stock traders it's high it's like 50 percent 40 percent of the time they don't hit the target so 60 percent of the time they are right they are right a little bit more than chance we're talking about professional traders and here we are we are not we are not uh, at least i am not uh, uh, wealth I am here trying to make uh, to make some and we have something like this that's so tempting we that that says to us that scream to us that we can make a bucket okay that we can really make a bucket oh you just put a little bit here on the calculator and then you have everything on control it seems to be in control because you have this and then when you are when you are entering a position you're gonna your emotion is gonna pump in, and pump in, and then your emotion is gonna take the control. That's how it works. If you read the behavior econo behavioral economic behavior economical theory, um, a lot of books, predictable, irrational, by Dan Ariely, a dollar sense, and uh, fast and slow thinking, fast and slow. You'll see that we are not uh perfect rational beings when it comes to to economic decisions okay i'm sorry this is uh, i know this is not a, a a bitcoin analysis okay i'm gonna now jump into a bitcoin analysis this is this was just my two cents on this topic on bitmax okay why i decided to not trade on bitmax okay one reason is because of the of the index and the second reason is a psychological one okay 
So let's jump into the Bitcoin. Um, uh, what do we have here? If you uh, if you have watched my other videos, my other streams, uh, I have different counts. I have different. Uh, let's see this chart here. Yeah, I, as, as I have presented this chart yesterday, we have here the, as I said, uh, a really, a really bearish picture. Let's just open it here. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, what is it? The one day? What is it? Neo, neo. What is it? Bearish. bearish. Uh, mm -hmm. open this one yes okay so here's one of my counts yeah here's the volume as you can see this is a uh, four hours I'm gonna change to one to daily okay here's my chart um, this is one of my counts but I don't think this is possible this is actually not possible at all okay we need to reconsider this count completely. If we are to consider this count possible, we need to say this is a one, and then we have a two here. Okay, putting in a two now, then this is a zero here, one, two, then we would have a three here. Okay, a four, remember a four that can't be can't retrace to the region of uh, 1 not only by it, the uh, wave 4 cannot retrace to the region of uh, wave 1 not only by a week it, it can but not on, not by more than a week okay this is that this is what could unveil okay well, I'm, I'm having problems drawing here I'm just, I am looking stupid. Okay, this is that's it. This is one count. This is possible. Okay, this is not impossible. One, two, and then we will start seeing a lot of uh, a lot of down pressure. Yes. Okay. What would be the the zoom in vision of this count here? It would be this one here. Uh, this would be no, not this was this would be my alternate count. This this would be yeah yeah yeah. Um, let me just oh yeah I have uh, yes this um, thing. damn it damn it damn it this is that's it. Let me open here. I have posted this chart on my Twitter account. If you haven't seen it, consider it, consider giving me a a follow. Um, what's going on? Oh, I I see this hasn't updated. Oh damn! Yeah, this hasn't updated. I had a different chart. I have marked a different chart. Oh come on! This cannot be happening. Okay. 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 So, um, let's talk about this chart first because this one is possible as well. Okay. We would have an A here. That means that we would need a one, two, three, four, five here to finish this A. Then we would have an A, B, C to finish this B. Then we would have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, C to finish this B here. That would mean a 7K, 7, 1K region. But after putting this A, this retracement here, B, that would get us to roughly 6K, then we would have this B, okay? That would put us to 7, 2, uh, seven two hundred something. Then we would go down to four k, 
perhaps 2k 2k no i'm sorry 4k 3k i can see here 3k if you consider this is a really bearish scenario okay guys really really bearish uh, but it, it seems to be playing really really fine isn't it if we go here let me draw the chart with you yeah if we see it, we have the ingredients for this one two three one two three four five one then we have this where, where is the one by the way oh no i have predicted this but this hasn't yes this this has this move to this one here so we had another five see this was my 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 forecast okay this is like how i this was my one two this is zero where the two begins okay this is the zero so one two two three here this was this as if you followed me i would i was saying that this was a a really characteristic four because you have a, a a flat correction yeah like doing this pattern if you want let me take this out here that's bugging me a lot come on computer yes there it is you have this pattern yeah and then we have a four let me take this this those waves out because it's really annoying really really annoying um, so we have here we have a four okay here we have a four damn you come on so here we have a four okay then a five then we have completed this one then we have to put a two here yeah then a three then i think we are again in a four okay just to finish this uh, wave three okay to finish this wave three we need to have a four here one i'm sorry this is actually one two three this is a one two three four five five is actually here okay you guys follow me you guys dig me yes this is a the five oh jesus and it's not working it's not working my my control control z is not working for some damn reason it's not working what the heck? Come on, you're fuck screwing with me. Here is our five. Now it's five. You see a key? You see? One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Really nice. The four here, here retracing to the region of. I'm gonna chart this correctly now. One, and then the two here. Three. Where's my three? Three here. Then a really flat strange four, and then a five. We have finished this one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we have this tree of a higher degree. Okay, this green tree from this one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we have this four that we are putting in here. We can discern here on ABC. A. B, then we would have another push, push down for our C. Waves 4, we trace to, to the region of waves, to the wave, to the region of previous wave 4. So we would, we would retrace to this region here, you see? Waves 4 of a higher degree, in this case the green one, retraces to the previous wave 4 of the lower degree. In this case, this wave 4 here. So this region here is a, a nice region for the retracement. I'm gonna mark it here. 
okay this region here and this this region here where you see those uh those those touches here okay this region here this is a specific region um this would be our c a b c okay um this might go as well this might have finished here and we start going down yes why not okay why not we might we might see it going down okay and right now but if we correct to this region of six four six four hundred hmm i would like to consider let's see let's use our fib retracement here seeing from low to here to our three here's the region see 30 80 20 percent right there so it's not a coincidence right that we have this the 50 percent is also in the region of a wave four see the region the wave four goes all the way the previous wave four goes all the way to region to the to the, the previous wave for the walls the way to the 50 percent here of this swinging swing to high to low from two to three okay so this is a really good spot now for us to look at okay if you like if you use the under change on top it's under your favorite two bar controls is not work if controls is not working thank you big b <laughs> <laughs> yes, sometimes I don't know why my, my keyboard is not working. For some reason, I need to check this thing. Yeah, sometimes we're quite stupid. Yes, thank you very much for your uh, this but this button here. Yes, sorry. <laughs> um, so uh, this is our wave five. So this not this would leave us to like 6800 uh, I don't think we are gonna go as high as 7 7 thousand 7k okay this picture this whole picture here okay this one two three four five this whole thing here is this picture here okay a we are we are completing the a, the a here okay we are completing the a here this is our a okay this this is our a starting here want you starting here we have our 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 a wave here of a really higher degree okay this is our a so if we mark it here like this is our a a then we would put a b and then a c like here okay a b c and then we would finish a b here a b that could that might uh go as high as 72k 7200 yeah seven uh, seven thousand uh, i would like though to uh, to stress out that that to stress the fact that the correction is going on okay um and that it's if we retrace to this region of uh, wave four here that is the previous wave four here but we have a we have plenty of chance of going up again yeah going up but then do, do not get get yourselves uh excited and saying oh my god Bitcoin is gonna pump again to 20k. It's not gonna happen that fast, okay? It's not gonna happen that fast. So bear in mind that we are in a corrective time. We are we are in a bear market. As I have shown yesterday, uh, where, where is it? This is a uh, damn. I need to put. Uh, I need to change it to an hour at least. I don't like to chart things in uh, lower time frames sorry I was but it doesn't change anything at all my count was in my head I had I, I had done this previously um, so 
Um, this count here is, as I said, is this one here. So we are finished this A, going. When we finish this A, we are gonna start this B, an A, B, C, okay? We are gonna finish this, and then, like I said, we are gonna start this, uh, this A, like I said, A, B, C, A, almost. This is this is our A. Then we would start. This is our A of a higher degree. Then we will have our B here. Oh my God! Yes, yes. Yeah, I had previously uh, another A here. Let, I'm sorry. Let me use this one. This is a this is a higher degree one. This A here is this one here. Okay. And then we have this B here that might drag us down to 6100. Okay, then we are gonna have a C. Where is my C? Where's my C? Where's my C? Where's my C? Where's my C? There it is. Our C is not that high. Our C is gonna be like 6100. Okay, something like something along this along those lines. Okay. Here in our B, we are gonna have an ABC, so we are gonna have this zigzag, down, something like this. Perhaps uh, a longer wave C, as it is often with cryptos. 50% of our wave B, A, B, C, to retrace to our B, then five waves up to complete our C. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, this is our C. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay, something like this. Then we would go down. Okay, this would finish our. This would finish. This is our A B C. This would finish our. This would finish our B and then our C. Let's let's zoom out. This would finish our B of a higher degree, okay? That might take us to 7,000. Might, okay? Uh, okay, A, B, and C. This is the this is the, the one hour chart zooming in of this chart here. That I that I consider is my primary count, okay? Um, Guys, um, I think that nothing has changed a lot. I think that you guys should pay attention, should pay a lot of attention. If, if you guys see that Bitcoin is going down to this region here, okay? This region here that I am, uh, have a head box here, 6400, 6300, you should start considering buying, considering laddering longs. But with a stop loss, really, really tight stop loss, really. Because if we go down to below this region, like 6100, yes, it's gonna perhaps then that would mean that we finished wave five here and then we would go down here. If we dump really hard here, perhaps if you if you like to leather buys, I, I'm I, I don't think it's a a bad idea if you leather buys until this zone here you are not to have problems okay if you are a swing trader if you're not a day trader you can swing trader you can you can start uh leathering buys in this region here because here we have our, our resistance i don't think we are gonna break this resistance until we have a, a, a another high that's my that that's my piece of device. It's not gonna break this previous resistance. This uh, this almost this is a double bottom, okay? Almost a double bottom. This is not gonna break down really hard until we have another push uh, push upwards. So that's your decision. I I think that this count plays really well. It's. It's nice. I, I feel like that's okay. Not compare. Let me put another indicator here, just to again uh, talk about what I have. 
I have I have presented this yesterday in my in my in my stream. I'm gonna show you guys how the the again. Yeah, I'm gonna show again how this is. I'm gonna show you guys the the indicator that I use. In this case, I use the 21 EMA, the 55 EMA, red. 100 I put yellow uh, and the 200 I use a white and a thicker okay as I said yesterday always when we have the 200 below the other three we are in a bullish market but but short term we are bullish you see we don't see a we, we, we don't see a, a, a we don't see at least in one hour chart okay let's see the four hour chart let's see if we are oh jesus a lot of information no four hours we are still bearish okay the 200 dma above the 100 to 55 uh, 55 and the uh, 21 okay and the 21 really acting as a support so we are we see that the 21 has crossed all the other three but the, the the 200 EMA is 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 acting as a resistance. So the 200 EMA is acting as a resistance. So I wouldn't see like it breaking up and changing the, the and, and having a trend change. Not soon. That's why I am bearish. Okay. You may say, oh, but in the one hour chart show shows us that we have a. a that we have the 200 EMA below acting as a support, but a one hour chart is uh, can easily change. Okay, uh, in the daily chart, we are really pretty much really bare. Come on, okay, this is let me put the daily chart. See, this is the 200 EMA. If we go like this, this is one hour chart. If we go like this and sustain the 200 EMA below. All the other ones we are we are gonna be bullish for the short term but only only until we get this high here that 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 I am uh, assuming that we are gonna get it's not that high like six eight hundred six nine hundred six eight fifty is a nice resistance it was a, a previous resistance okay is so and then we are where we would see a trend reversal okay we would see a dump a real dump okay the daily chart shows uh the daily chart shows us that we are pretty much bare okay like i said yesterday in our in our in our stream here we had our death cross the 200 EMA is above all the other three, okay? We see the, two, the 21 EMA really started to curl up, but not that much. We see here, like, what, a shooting star? I'm not that, that good at spotting candles. This is a shooting star, right? It's a dodgy, actually, yes? But we are in the middle of the day. It's a dodgy, I'm sorry. Um, but we are... Oh yes, give us an example of how you will be playing this structure. How to determine a high probability trade, some points of confirmation perhaps. Low leverage, of course, yes. Low leverage, okay. Uh, this is the day, let just me wrap up this, this thing here. So, we are bearish, okay. Bearish, 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 21 EMA. It's like acting as a support here. It's a really weak sign of a, of a movement upwards. Um, so, how I would play this scenario? How, how I am playing this scenario, by the way? Okay, the way that I'm, that I play is um, some people, um, some traders don't like to to trade against the, the 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 overall trend. What that means? Uh, some traders understand that we are in a bearish market. So then they would never, never buy. They would never go long. 
okay? They understand that we are in a bearish market, so they don't go long. They don't enter in a long position, okay? Why? Because it's risky. If you are in a bearish market, why would why would you enter a, a, a long position, okay? I agree with them. I agree. Sometimes I play like this. In this case, however, I'm gonna play a long position. I'm gonna wait until we get to this 38, 20%. Okay, let's use our tool here. I will wait until we get here to 38, 20%. If we get there, if we don't go, if we go up, okay, let, let's assume first that we go up, okay, that we don't get ever to this 38, 20%, and we go like to 78k, I'm sorry, 7800. Okay, let we go like here. We, we finished really sh a shallow. We go, we do like this. Let me show you guys. We do like um, something like this. We we pierce the 2360 and then we go up. Okay, to the 6800. Okay. What's gonna happen is that a lot of sell pressure is gonna be found here. I can show you guys what is my VPVR. Sorry for that. <coughs> oh, right here. See, we have a pressure. Yeah, let me change it a little bit. Uh, 100. 24. Yes. Mm hmm. You see? I'm sorry, let me... Uh, we don't see a lot of interest. Yes, it's kind of a... We see a lot of sell pressure here as well. We sell a lot of pressure here. Sell pre if we ever get to this region of 6700, we are going to see a, a huge dump. Okay? We don't see a lot of interest above it. You see? Do you agree? So, yeah, we, we would see a double bottom. I'm sorry, a double top. It's not gonna happen this, at least the way that it's showing us here, right? We're gonna see a double top. We're gonna have a truncated five if we have a truncated five. If we, we don't go below and and don't have uh, this trade at all. Okay, we, so the first scenario, if we go up, we do this. We don't have this uh, this uh, deeper retracement, okay? If we don't have this deeper retracement, and if we go up to this region, let me draw it again, I'm sorry. Let me just, if we do like this, because this is the barrier, okay? This line here is the barrier. If we go to this region here, or a bit higher, like a double bottom, really a double bottom, like to this line here, which is a huge, huge resistance, as we can see here, this region, right? This region here is a huge, huge, huge resistance. Uh, weeks here, weeks here, weeks here. The, this wave too, when we start dumping here, we couldn't break here. We couldn't break this. Seven eight hundred. We couldn't break. We couldn't break. We couldn't break. We couldn't break. We we, we we almost touched it, but we couldn't even get past it. This time here in beginning June twenty June twentieth, we have breached through this resistance. We had a double top, and then we went down. Okay, this this red this. Uh, green line here it's a really good spot to layer shorts okay as you ask it how I would play I would play if it goes up okay if it goes up I would play my short here okay you see and you see here above this the, those weeks here I would put my stop above those weeks why because if it goes really, really higher than those weeks, I would not put a, a, a huge stop loss. I would put a tighter stop loss. Let me start this correctly. 
okay I would start shorting right at 6800 I would leather my shorts of course and I would put my stop loss really tight really here six eight six six nine hundred okay I would put my stop six nine six eight ninety one so I don't need to go that high okay I would do this I would but I would start shorting here at the I would start shorting here at the at the previous top this which which I labeled my wave three here I would start here okay at six seven six six seven hundred six 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 seven six I'm sorry and I will start lettering here ten percent ten percent oops ten percent ten percent okay those would be my the numbers then I would put my stop loss here okay and I would aim to to this low here right to this low here 6100 why 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 I would aim to this because if we go this high and we break it would go to this uh, to this preview this if you if you don't like uh, Elliott waves this is a cluster here we have a lot of of action here so it's really likely that we would test this region again so if you want to be conservative if you want to be really conservative you would put your your you would take your profit here this is a this is a really good risk risk reward ratio right what do you think big bit big bet and now what do you think about this this play I think it's a good one, isn't it? I would start lettering. Perhaps I would start lettering here my shorts, okay? Because I, we have a a lot of action here. I would start lettering here in this red line here, okay? I would start lettering here, like here. I will start lettering here, and then if I see that it's really dumping I would add more with strength right I would leather here I would add more here I would add more here you have the we have both strategies okay I would add more to my position and then I would move this this target a little bit down uh, not to this region of wave one but to the region of this wave four here getting to six to hundred okay this is one of my scenarios one of this is uh if you want to short like if you are one of the traders that really don't like to go against the the trade which is what i'm gonna do okay personally i am gonna do this i'm gonna wait for for it to go up if it doesn't go up for some reason if it if it doesn't go up okay and if it goes down okay uh wait a second let me if it goes down which is possible which is quite possible I would say it okay let me so if we go down and we kind of confirm this um we kind of confirm this wave b here as a wave C, I'm sorry, if we confirm this as a wave C, if you go like this, reach the 3820 and go all the way to those same regions, you can play the same thing. You can wait until we go up and start shorting and do the, the and do the propo and, and, uh, and play that risk reward plan that I have presented. Or you can start uh, laddering buys here. Okay? Why not? Oh, it's against the it's against the trend. I know we are bearish, but we can start taking some profits here. I'm sorry, take, taking uh, putting 
really small positions in a long position, okay? Long positions. You ladder your buys here, okay? Okay, until we get here, 50%, okay? You ladder your buys until you get to the 50%, which is the the maximum desired spot of retracement for, for waves of four. So we might go as deep as 50. Then we would go up. Okay? So we start laddering here until 6200 or 6100. It might go uh, it might go to this region here of uh, wave two. That is the previous the, the this is the, the lowest point that we had in our previous wave four, so why not go there, right? And test and have like a double bottom, considering this as a, a pivot low, this region of wave four. So what would you do? You would get a, our uh, our retrace uh, our risk reward long here. This is our risk reward, and I would put here at the 38, okay. This is a little bit tricky and a little bit a little bit risky because you need to put a, a longer stop loss. And if you are laddering, that's the problem. If you're gonna start your buys here, you need to move your stop loss. Okay? And you need to pay attention on at the RSI. If the RSI is moving against you or it's, if it's showing uh, divergency divergences we, we see a support here look this is the support okay let me draw this correctly um, this is a rsi support we haven't touched it yet so that's one of the reasons that i think we have room yet to touch it see we can draw here as well like touching here and going up for then dump okay uh so to play this long i'm sorry for the little detour we would start laddering here at 38 20 percent and then we would need to move our stop loss to deeper levels and it's a little bit risky i know we don't have the best risk re risk to reward ratio this would be the long option okay and, and yes i understand why it's difficult to play a. uh a long position in a bearish market that's why you you don't have a risk reward ratio as good as uh, as shorting okay because we we don't have certainty that we are not going to dump here we don't have the certainty yes we, we have this kind of support here okay so we would perhaps i would if i were if i were to play this short this long i'm sorry I would start long in here at the 30, 80, 20%. I would start long. I would start uh, laddering longs, laddering longs here, 38, until the 50%. Okay, I would ladder. Then I would have a, um, let's see, a median. Uh, the average would be 6,300. I would put my stop loss right here at this week. Four, my stop loss would be six to two hundred forty-nine, and I would target to a. Okay, why? I would target to this red line here, by the way, because I'm not confident, that confident that this is gonna play. So I would I would target to six seven hundred. Okay, this is a long scenario. If we are to do this, if we are, if we are to dump and and put in this wave four and go up if you want to ladder some longs here and catch this wave up that's one way of doing so you need to keep a really tight stop loss i don't like to to lose money we, we who doesn't yeah who does i'm sorry who does like to lose money right um i think that's that that's i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap this up uh, if you have questions or if you have a feedback or something um, please tell me <laughs> I'm looking here if I have a if you guys ask me anything or if you guys are okay with it if it's fine uh, 
please tell me if it's okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna stop here and we see each other tomorrow. Okay? This is so. I think I'm gonna wrap up here. This is this was a really good video, I think, at least in my opinion. I'm gonna have a new mic soon, so then the audio is gonna be better. And I hope that you guys enjoy the video. And if you like it, please subscribe here, subscribe, um, subscribe on YouTube. My channel is. I, I think I have. I I have sent my my YouTube channel link. Subscribe on Twitter, on all the and my fan page on Facebook. And thank you very much. Bye bye. Cheers.